Hello everyone and welcome back for those of you who are subscribers to my channel and if you aren't please like and subscribe. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I got a new piece of tech. The M4 iPad Pro to be exact. You see whenever I did my LG soundbar review it wasn't so much as a, of an unboxing as it was a video review and a setup. This time however I want to do the full thing. I want to do the unboxing, the setup, do my initial thoughts review, and then some more down the road, maybe a month from now, do and you know, hey, this is what I've been doing for the last month kind of review. So, since I haven't done this before, please bear with me. You know, because this is a journey for me too. So, let's take this journey together. Okay, so... I'm going to do this over again because the last time I tried to do a freaking video, which was about five minutes ago, I don't know what happened. It just didn't take it. I wasted five minutes of my life. So we're going to do this again, but we can do it again. So this is the box that the sucker shipped in. Now, anybody who is active duty military, um, a veteran, or somebody who works in the shipping industry, logistics, whatever have you, will recognize this label. And the reason why this label's on here is because whenever they ship something, if it has a battery in it, they have to label it as such. That way, whenever they bring it to the people who like load it on the planes or on the, on their, you know, whatever it is that they're transporting on, they know how they're supposed to pack it, ship it, you know, where to place it on the truck. Anyway, so for the sake of showing how this thing is goes in and comes out and everything else, I'm gonna pop this in. So. You notice cardboard holds it in place. You pull it out like so. Now, what they don't tell you is that you have these two little tabs that you're supposed to rip off, one on each end. So you got one that's supposed to go right here, and then one that's supposed to go on this side as well, which I already ripped them off. Now, I'm going to take the sucker off, and here it is. Here is the iPad, which, of course, I've already done it all because I did it in a previous video that didn't freaking record, but, you know, can you tell I'm still butthurt over that? I know. Anywho, it's wrapped in this. Take it out. And if you notice, it's ridiculously light. I'm talking, this thing is so light that I know I'm going to have to get a case for it. Also, it's already got smudges on it, which sucks. So, definitely going to be going to Best Buy and getting a screen protector for the sucker. And we'll go from there. So, also, which is awesome, um, does come with a USB-C charging cable. A very nice braided one, by the way. And, it also comes with its own charging brick, which is awesome. So, that said, that's the unboxing. Pretty straightforward. Um, I am glad that it did not come wrapped in plastic. I'm guessing that's because of the fact that Apple's trying to reduce their carbon footprint. And uh, one way of doing that is to get rid of the plastic that used to cover the boxes. Which, you know what? I'm fine with that. You don't want to put the plastic on? That's one less thing for me to tear off the box. And one less thing for me to throw in the trash. I'm good with it. So, with that said... Uh, thank you for watching. I will be back on later to do things like uh, showing you how to transfer information and showing you how the whatever case I get and all that nonsense. So, see you all later. Until then. Okay, time for part two. So, I'm having to do this a little wonky because desk view doesn't really look very well. And also, this is my first time powering up the sucker. So, let's do this. Also, I also ended up getting the screen protector I needed. However, Best Buy has a crap stock, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to order a case online.
Okay, so it's telling me to use my iPad that I have right now to set up, so I'm going to continue. Come on. Continue. I've never done this before. Where is that damn circle? Okay. Okay, so I've already done all that nonsense. We're going to go with data and privacy. I'm going to do face ID real quick. Okay, so I've done Face ID. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer from what from my old iPad to my new one. It should take rough. It says it should take roughly 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to agree. Continue. Apple Intelligence. I'm gonna do Siri. The colors of the sky fade. The colors of the sky. The colors of the sky. The colors of the sky fade with the. The colors of the sky. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun. Okay, so now I'm gonna update it. So important thing to know here for the update: do not let your iPad go to sleep, because if you do, it will spin its wheels and you'll have to start the whole freaking process over again. Okay, so it finished updating. Now it's preparing to transfer information from my old iPad to my new iPad. Okay, so it's finally starting trying to uh, to estimate the remaining time. As you can see right here. My hope is it doesn't take very long. But I'm not gonna for I'm not gonna force y'all to sit through this nonsense. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I tried to, you know, connect them you via USB C port, same cord because I had it. The time remaining got up to um, one day, so we shall see what happens. I hope it doesn't take no eleven hours to transfer, but we'll we'll see. We will see. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to go ahead and do some, some comparisons on different things, you know, how it works. Old iPad, new iPad. So, let's go here. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to check out Ocean Horn 2. And we're going to see... How quickly it loads up, whether you're using the second generation or the M4, which I mean, it's going to be self-explanatory, but I just think, you know, I just think this is pretty cool. So let's load it up. Okay, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but the color saturation, of course, is uh, marginally, at least marginally better on my M4. So, start, start. Okay. Loads up pretty quickly. My second gen iPad is lagging behind, which is expected, and you can see the jankiness in some of the video. For anyone who doesn't know, by the way, this is on um, Apple Arcade. I've already played. I played through the first one on the Switch. Have not played through this one. I mean, it seems pretty like a decent game, but I would, and this is a big one. I would definitely recommend if you have a Dual Sense or an Xbox a Series X controller, plug it into the port. That way, you have much better control. Because I'm about to show you. Just how wonky the controls can be if you're doing it through touchpad, because it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, 
Okay, why did it... Okay. I don't know if y'all are hearing this or not. I'm hoping y'all are hearing my voice. Maybe I need to do something about that. Hold on one second. Okay, so... Everything moves around pretty smoothly, except for this one. You can see this one is very smooth when you're moving the camera and moving around. This one, you can tell that there's slight jankiness. I'm not going to do much else with this. Okay, so another thing I wouldn't mind doing is maybe, let's see here. Hmm. Actually, I think uh, that's about all I'm going to do. I think y'all can tell that when it comes down to it, that basically you're getting a much better experience because it is, it is higher end software. It is. You know, and yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it. So with that, the whole reason I wanted to make this video quickly is because I've still got to box this sucker up. So thing is, I did the trading program through Apple, the Apple store, and I still have to wipe this sucker, box it up and send it back so that I can get my refund. I'm going to go ahead and do a video on that as well. That way people will know exactly what to expect with the uh, refund process. And uh, yeah, so until then, later. Okay, so. So everyone, can you see me? Yes, you can. Awesome. So here's the deal. So I've already wiped this thing. I've already wiped it, like, memory-wise. I've already cleaned it up. I'm actually going to pack this in with its case, number one, because Apple will discard, will recycle it. Number two, it will help protect the screen during shipment. So, I'm going to close this sucker up. Now, before I get going, I want to point out one thing. Well, actually, two things. Number one, if you're doing an iPad, you will get one of these. You're supposed to wrap the iPad in the sucker. Right, all that stuff. Number two, these instructions right here, yeah, that's for a MacBook. And if you actually use this QR code, it will take you to a website with an Apple where it will show you how to pack up a MacBook. So I wouldn't even worry about this at all. So let's get this done. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to move this back a little bit. Yeah, there you go. We're going to go ahead and put this sucker in here, like so. See? Just like so. And now, this is going to be one of the harder parts, I think, because we're going to have to fit this into here, which means we have to pull these sides in, and we have to fit in like so. You see how I did that? Camera. Yeah. Just like so. And then after that, you basically... Fold, basically fold this in. We're going to fold this in. These two are going to go in like this. And then you're going to fold this over. Like so. Now, the other tricky part. You see these tabs right here? Try to get the camera good. Okay, you see these tabs right here? Well, one I'm pressing my thumb against. These have to go into these little slots. So, let's see here. Put them into their little slots. Actually, it's not that hard once you fold it in. Okay, so they're in their slots. Right there. And right there. Now, the last but not least part, there is a bond, there's a strip that you have to pull off, and it will actually bond everything together. So, taking the strip off, come on, 
You have to. Oh, well. Don't want to pull the whole damn thing off. Apparently, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Come on. Okay. Comes off. I'm going to take this little part off right here. Okay, so. The strip has been taken off. Now, all you do is press down. And then you press down. And then you wrap it around. Bam. And now, once I remove the paper, um, this sucker's ready for shipment. So, I hope this was helpful to people. I really do. And, uh, yeah, until next time. Okay, everyone, so this is the last segment of my video. Speaking to everything that we've gone through so far, the unboxing, uh, booting up, initial, you know, initial setup, testing out the two iPads, and then getting the old iPad ready for shipments. I feel like, I hope I gave y'all some good information. There will be some other videos that I come out with. For instance, I do plan on doing, in about the next month or so, I do plan on doing another kind of like fully more full review of the of my M4 iPad Pro. And also, I did get a, get, get a carrying case for it. And I want to do a review on that as well because it's from a company I've never heard of. I actually found them through Amazon. I paid what I feel like is dirt cheap price for it and it's a damn good case like seriously it is it's very very good so without further ado i mean i keep on saying that i don't know why i say it without, without further ado anywho um like i said those videos are coming it's just a matter of when i can actually make him because things are hectic around here but yeah hope uh hope you found this informative Hope maybe you laughed a little bit because I do try to throw in some humor into my videos like in the last one when I said the word so like God knows how many times. So yes I said it again. Like I said I hope people found this informative and like as always like and subscribe and um, see you later.